because love is a high vibrating energy. Love is love is what we are and who we are and what we come together in a relationship to share. And when that relationship connection is separate from love, this breeds a much lower vibrating energy. Men, to have sex is to really become one flesh. Whoever we have sex with, we become energetically merged and intertwined with. And your now partner receives everything you do energetically unknowingly. And this could have been anything you've done, anything you're currently doing, habits that are sustaining your life or bad habits that are impeding your life. Anything and everything you're doing is now shared with this partner. Now, whether or not you stay intertwined within this relationship connection determines whether or not that attachment stays alive, but that attachment is somewhat always going to be there. It's always gonna linger and that attachment is within the energetic merge that you once had. And when this energetic merge happens, it's not just a sexual encounter. You're literally taking in all of their repressed energy and emotions and storing them and you're giving them yours in return. Now, these are things like even other past people that we've had sex with. These are lower vibrating traumas that we not only store and suppress within each other because we're taking them in and storing them, but we breed them through these sexual interactions that are separate from love. Because love is a high vibrating energy. Love is, love is what we are and who we are and what we come together in a relationship to share. And when that relationship connection is separate from love, this breeds a much lower vibrating energy a disembodied energy that is not the same density of love. It is not high vibrating energy like love energy. Then we take in and interact with this energy. Instead, this is only creating more of that lower lust, more of our carnal infatuation. It's keeping our eyes in our carnal nature rather than our higher ideals. It's keeping us within the lower levels of reality rather than higher devotions. And of course, this is not going to lead to an emotionally healthy, strong, happy, connected relationship. The thing that we got to get through our heads is that if we're having sex with all these people on all these different occasions and we're programmed into believing and rationalizing this is all right, this is only going to store more energies that are going to present themselves later in your relationship and life down the line that then you're going to have to clean up and clear within yourself because this is emotional gunk that is literally stuffed and stored within our bodies that we take in, interact with and transfer between people in an energetic connection whether it's a trauma woven bond or a love connection, these energies are still stored. And whatever, whoever we decide to interact with, we're basically going to inhabit a part of them. We're going to take in a part of them. Now ask yourself, are the people that you have been with really honoring your sacred center and adding to your life? Or are they merely trauma woven bonds that are only pulling you further away from yourself and creating more mess that you're going to have to clear within yourself later down the line.